Lake Cumberland's Power Country K93. I'm Rod Bubba, and we are talking with none other than Mr. Buddy Jewell, who's going to be performing Friday night at the center. Good morning, Buddy. Good morning, man. H- how you doing? I'm doing all right. It's a little chilly down here in Nashville <laughs> this morning, but I'm, otherwise I'm doing good. Yeah, it's a little chilly up here, too. I was looking back at uh, the photos we've got. And, uh, last time you were here, you were uh, touring with Trace Adkins. And at that time, I didn't have a girlfriend, and now I've got a wife and three kids, so <laughs> I don't let any grass grow under my feet. <laughs> oh, well, I, I thought you were saying me and Trace had that effect on women. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's what it took, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I had a lot to do with that. Uh, hey, uh, tell us about this big gig coming up, Christmas in the Country. You know what? Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's this Friday evening there at the uh, Center for Rural Development Mm -hmm. in uh, Somerset. And um, I'm going to have my buddies Casey Rivers and uh, MK and, of course, my my pal Jeff Bates. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be a great family show. I want to encourage folks to bring uh, their kids out with them. It's family-friendly. Right. Except for that thing that Jeff Bates does in those girls' ears in the autograph line. I don't know what. I don't know if that's family friendly or not. Well, now, according to Jeff, all he does is hug their necks. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are so looking forward to the show. And the one thing I wanted to pass along to you, buddy, I, I figured if I ever got a chance to talk to you again, I'd let you know. Of all the, the other country artists that, that we come in contact with, especially the older and more established folks, they have nothing but praise for you. Oh, man, I am... Um... I don't know how you're channeling Minnie Pearl, but keep it up. <laughs> Appreciate it. No, seriously, they all <laughs> say that you were the hardest working guy on, on Music Row, and they were so glad to see you break out and make it, and, and that speaks a lot. I appreciate that, man. You know, it's um, one of my favorite things to do is get to, to go and play the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah. And um, when I get to hang out with uh, all the, the those Opry stars, and um, they make me feel you know, at home there, and, and uh, just, I mean, really having the admiration of your peers and yeah. people like that is just, uh, there's, there's not a better award than that. After so, doing it after doing it so long and, and making it and then still doing it, is it still kind of surreal sometimes? It is. Um, you know, I'm, I'm probably my, still my most happy happy moments are, you know, that hour, hour and a half on stage. Right. You know, I just, I really enjoy getting up there and connecting with people and, uh, you know, obviously getting to sing, but just getting to spend time with with folks. You know, I I can remember going to concerts when you know when I was younger, and right. and uh, you know just all the excitement it, it was for me to be on you know in the audience, right. and uh, and that, that carries over to when I'm on stage. You know? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, we appreciate your time, buddy. Uh, go back to sleep or whatever you were doing. <laughs> I'm counting donuts. There you go. <laughs> Take them down one at a time. Brother, thank you, and we will see you Friday night. All right, brother. Thank you all for having me on. Okay, buddy. We'll see you. All right. Bye-bye.